Hi, welcome to Accordion Cafe. Continuing the strip down of the Union Route 4 horsepower. We're on the gearbox uh, today. And uh, yes, T, the most important thing. <laughs> um, so, we're going to strip this uh, gearbox down just to have a look inside it. I was a bit suspicious about that fishing line getting wrapped around the hub bearing. Um, if there's any more in there, it's um, you know it, it's not so good. So um, take out the two bolts here. Um, shouldn't be difficult to take out um, the ratchet, then the screwdriver, and uh, <clears throat> then I find the the easiest way to um, uh, re release this hub bearing cover. Um, you'll see it in just a second. is to take an, uh, sort of an adjustable spanner type pipe wrench to it and get that, not on the shaft, uh, on, on that part there as you can see, just give it a, a twist just to break the seal, not to break the seal but to un unstick it, that's a better word isn't it, don't like breaking things. Um, and uh, off it comes as you can see. Um, the oil was a bit mucky, it had gone to sort of like a jelly so you know that that's not so good um and the uh order in which it uh, comes apart in uh, the the gearbox uh looks um no problems no chips in the teeth no whirring down the the, the actual end bearings seem to be okay not too much um play in them seal around there and we'll probably have to replace that yeah, probably have to replace that seal. But for now, um, just while we're going over the whole motor before we start spending any money on it, and uh, check that it, it's, you know, check that it's going to be worth um, spending money on. I've said before though, it was a gift, so I'm not going to complain about that. Um, but we want to make sure it's going to uh, run, um, you know, reasonably well before we start spending money on seals and gaskets and stuff. Um, but uh, just checking the shaft over there to see if there's any grooves worn in it, anything yeah. nasty, any bits of metal, didn't find any in there. It wasn't you. <laughs> here. Look at him letting that oil run all over the bench, I'm a mocky pup, eh? Still, never mind, it's good for the order. Those, uh, when you take the shaft out, you'll, you'll come across this um, flat sort of needle faced. Um, flat face needle roller bearing like shim job um, like that's where I'm looking at the all there it, it was very much like jelly so that was no good at all <coughs> um, just getting the oil out there You can see the order in which they come out in. It's uh, when you look at it, uh, when you've taken the shaft out and the um, bearings, you're, you're, you're confronted first with the uh, needle bearing, then you take that needle plate out and you've got the washer underneath it. Um, and uh, the washer has got a chamfered shoulder on it. I'm not altogether certain which way up that goes, but. Um, I'll have a look on the website for that and see if I can see in a blown up diagram to be absolutely certain which way up the washer goes if that chamfered um, edge makes much difference I'm sure it will make a difference so I'll have to have a look at that so you take out the needle roll of furring and then you've got this uh, washer that um, comes out next or spacer or spicer, spicer, stroke washer, whatever you like to call it. That's about it. Inside there's a needle roller burning inside there. So when you reassemble it, you um, Yes, 
let's get it the right way around <laughs> if you're reassembling the um, shaft put your needle roller um, shim on first followed by the, the washer which has got a slight shoulder on it it's just a chamfered edge around the outside which I must check up and see if there's a way up that should go I'm sure there will be a way up that should go um, so that uh, if if, uh, if you were to take the shaft out like we did at the beginning you, you would see both needle rollers in place you know remember in one of our first in the first one we had, we had some fishing line around the prop and this is the fishing line coming out now so it's uh, it's just as well that we did take the end cap off because um, we found uh, the jellyfied oil and um, the fishing line which was inside the hub bearing and that um, that could have done some damage causing the which could have caused the hub bearing to leak and then you'll get water in the oil which may have sediment in it as well which then ruins your bearings so it's as well to to check these things I suppose you know there we are reassembling it now washer first in place followed by the uh, flat needle roller bearing followed by the cog angled uh, teeth down and uh, followed by the shaft which we've already put the uh, washer uh, the, the needle roller and then the washer onto the shaft so that if the shaft wasn't there you would see you could see both needle rollers in place because the washers would be underneath them trying not to get mixed up explaining that but I'm sure there's a blow-up diagram on the net you could easily find if you can't understand that like I said before I do start replacing any any bits and pieces um, I, I'm going to check this over because uh, the the engine was in very uh, it was in a state when I got it and there are a lot of parts going to be replaced so far. Every part we've taken apart has got new parts needed. So um, we're going to have a good look at that first before we start spending any money on it. That's. Uh, Socket we're using on there is a three eight socket. Quite a simple job really to just strip it down and uh, replace the um, part oil gasket. It's not a difficult engine to work on. Anyway, hope it's been some use to you. And give us a like on the button if you've liked the video, and subscribe to be kept up to date. And uh, if you've got any questions, please leave it in the comments. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye for now.